Everybody, it's Michael from GetFitOver40.com and today we're going to talk about metabolism, right? Now, last time, or last video I talked about intermittent fasting, I had all sorts of details, all sorts of information copied on it, I had it all written down, scientific information. This video is going to have none of that. This is just my opinion and uh, some people might not agree with it, but uh, I think people in general have a misunderstanding about what your metabolism is and you know why why maybe perhaps you're putting weight on and people seem to blame it all the time on metabolism like they say oh you know I got when I was a kid or when I was younger right I could literally eat anything I wanted to and I didn't gain a pound right so let's talk about that a little bit if you look at kids today right like younger kids we're talking you know growing kids maybe they're not fully um, mature yet they're growing, they should require a lot of nutrition, they should be able to eat a fair amount and not gain weight. Well, what's happening is a lot of kids these days are semi-obese or even obese. Why is that? So is, is, has their metabolism changed? Is there, is there something wrong with our metabolisms now? That humans, they are born with this slow metabolism, right? And you know, you look at a lot of young adults too. And I remember when, uh, when I was a young adult, there were very few overweight people when I was, when I was younger, right? Now, there was the odd one. I mean, it happens. And, and I'm not saying that there aren't people out there with hormone problems that actually have slow metabolisms. But I think people use it so much as an excuse. And, and it's not the case. What dictates, what really dictates your metabolism? Well, it's your lean body mass, right? Now, metabolism isn't, let's talk, talk about what it isn't, right? That's, metabolism is what your body needs or the calories or how much energy it needs, how much it burns when you're just sitting there doing nothing. It has nothing to do with exercise, right? It's how much or how many calories do you need just to survive? Lying in a bed, not doing, just breathing. Okay, that's your base core metabolism. So we're not talking about all the things you do. So when people say my metabolism slowed down and that's why I'm getting fat because it used, I used to burn, say 2,500 calories a day just doing nothing and now I'm only burning 1,500 so there's 1,000 calories there that my body's basically packing on the weight. Uh, I don't buy into that because you know, when I was a kid, I was skinny, 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 skinny. I didn't start gaining weight till later on. I'll tell you why. I, I did have a little bit of a problem with weight. But, you know, what do you do when you're a kid? Back in the day, what did you do when you were a kid? When I was a kid, I couldn't wait to get out of the house, right? I would just scarf down breakfast just as much as I could get away with, you know, as much as my mom would force down my throat. I wasn't really interested. I'd boot out of that house. I don't even know what I would do. I would be like riding bikes, running around, playing tag. I was a superhero one moment. We were chasing, you know, something or whatever. It, it didn't matter. I mean, I would probably travel 10 miles before noon, right? And then if I was lucky, I'd end up at some friend's house and we'd scarf down lunch just because we want to get out of there again and play some more. I know it's a different society. It's a different world now, but that's what we did, right? And then I somehow I'd managed to make it home for dinner. And that's probably when I would just... You know, my mom, holy smokes, look at this kid eat, right? Holy smokes, and that's what parents think. Look at that kid, look at how much he can eat, he doesn't put any weight on. <laughs> so, I probably burned off several thousand calories as a child running around during the day doing all those things. Hadn't eaten much all day, came home and ate a big meal. And so people, they kind of associate this, well, when you're younger, you can eat so much, and your metabolism is so fast. And, you know, I can't believe it. And then all of a sudden now, I, you know, I, I, I have a normal sized meal and uh, I put on weight. Well, what are you doing throughout the day, right? What's, what's changed? It isn't your metabolism. It hasn't changed. Your metabolism is based off of your muscle mass. So, yeah, being a little leaner and having more muscle is going to burn a little more, but not that much. What really makes the biggest difference is, you know, what are you doing for exercise? What are you eating, right? The thing that's changed is you're not doing much throughout the day. You're not exercising that much. Not, you're not burning off 2,000 calories riding your bike around. You're not, you know, chasing, you're not a superhero. One. You're not doing any of that stuff, right? You're just basically, you have so much access to food. All you're thinking about instead of doing all those things, you're thinking about food instead of having fun, right? So the balance has changed. Your metabolism hasn't changed. The balance. Food is there. It's readily available. It's what's on your mind all the time, you know, and that's just normal when you get older. That's, you've got easy access to food and it's a lot of bad choices. Muffins, right? all kinds of fast food, bag of chips, right? A donut, stuff's coming at you all the time, yet you're not out there doing the exercise. So that's my opinion, okay? I'm not trying to 
being mean or nasty to you, but don't blame it on your metabolism. Uh, you know, people said to me, you know, oh, look at you, you, you must have a fast metabolism. Look at, look at your lean and all this stuff. No, I have a balance in my life of exercise and how much food I eat. That's how I do it. So it has nothing to do with my metabolism. It really doesn't. And to prove that, I was lean, skinny, growing up doing all those things. I got into my teen years, lean, skinny. I was a young adult in my early 20s, lean, skinny. And then one day I decided I wanted to bulk up and put muscle on. So I just ate more, right? I was still doing the same amount of exercise. I just ate more. So did my metabolism change? I was still exercising. No, I actually got, I got heavy. So it's, it's really a factor. Are, do you need those extra calories? Are you eating more than you need, right? Are you exercising enough for the amount of calories that you're eating? That's really what dictates whether you get weight. It's not your metabolism. Okay. It's really not it. And maybe you can change it slightly with how you're eating. You might be able to do that. You might be able to change that, that a little bit, but Really what it comes down to is you have to eat right, you have to exercise, it's plain and simple. There's really no other easy way. All right, thanks for watching another GetFitOver40.com video. Don't forget to subscribe, check me out on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching, until next time, take care.